I've got two pivot tables on this worksheet, and both of them are based on this Excel table. And you can see here that the name of the table is Sales Data. I created two pivot tables because I would like to see this pivot table grouped by months, so I can see the total sales quantity per month. And this one I'd like to see in quarters, so we can get the quarter totals. If I right click on one of these dates and click group, in the grouping dialog box I'll click on months and OK. But as soon as I group this pivot table, the other pivot table gets the same grouping. If I try and change it so that it's uh, grouped by quarters, then the other pivot table automatically changes. Now because both of them are based on this same pivot table, they share the same pivot cache. If I click this button, it just runs a little macro that counts the pivot caches in this workbook. So if I run that, the number of pivot caches is one. So they're sharing the same pivot cache, and that's where the grouping is, so we can't group one and not the other. To get around this, we're going to have to create a separate pivot cache for one of the pivot tables. So a quick way to do that is to create a new workbook, and then I'll go to the pivot tables, and I'm just going to select this one and cut it, and then put it in the other workbook. I'll paste it here, and while it's in here, I'm going to change the grouping. So right now it's quarters. I'll change the group to months. And click OK. And now I'm going to select those columns again, cut them, come back here, and paste. So now it's kept that new grouping that I had, and when I click this button to check the count of pivot caches, there are two. So just by cutting this one, moving it to another workbook, changing the grouping, and putting it back, we created a second pivot cache. And just to make sure everything's working okay and it's all still connected to the source data, here's a January order and I'm going to just change the quantity from 33 to 33,000. Just so we'll see. Now if I have a pivot table cell selected, I'm going to just use the refresh all command and we can see that the amounts in the two pivot tables have gone up to 75,000. So both are still connected to the source data, but they have separate pivot caches now, and the grouping can be different.